Hello my fellow earthlings and welcome to this uh, landscape time-lapse painting video. Uh, what I paint here is uh, um, a landscape from uh, actually the graveyard in Oslo called uh, Vofrelsos Gravlen. Uh, as you can see I do my gesso on the canvas first and I also made a lot of textures in the canvas before I started painting. Here you can see me using my Rå Umbar and uh, turp to actually sketch basically the painting in uh, to the in the, the grounding then i start as you can see here just uh, doing it very impressionistic uh, adding more and more color at first i go for the shadows as you can see i i removed some of the the uh, grounding also to to point out the uh, point out uh, yeah you know uh, light areas sorry light areas before before I started painting then I just keep on adding and adding and adding and adding uh, I just every time I actually look at the, at the photo I just try to pick up a new piece so and I guess that is how the impressionists did it that you, you just pick up a piece of the landscape, a piece of uh, the object you are painting every time, and you just kind of put it in there, uh, adding more and more and more and more. And in the end, the whole painting, the whole process, the whole texture, the whole all the brushwork and all this becomes closer and closer and closer to the motif you are actually working with. Uh, it is a little bit different, or more. Uh, more looser process than to very st stringent or very uh, difficult detail in a painting as you can see here now uh, I do it very sketchy I do it with uh, with uh, brushwork and I love this process actually because it's so liberating it gives me the possibility to kind of uh, take a step back from all the rigid details and just go into this this uh, uh, painting flow where I just add more and more brushwork. And as you, I said many times in our videos, I just love brushwork. One of the reasons I actually paint is the feeling of adding brushwork. Just the work itself is a good enough reason to to actually paint. And as you can see now, I add. I get closer and closer, so I use smaller and smaller uh, uh, brushes. I start out with big brushes, then I, as I add more and more details or more and more, it's not really details. I add more and more uh, points. It's also kind of pointism in a way because I just pick up and I just place it there. Uh, yeah. I hope this actually gives some sense because I'm just rambling here and <laughs> talking as it comes into my mind. But as you can see uh, here, just keep on adding and adding and adding and adding. And it becomes like a, more like a lush landscape created from brushwork and uh, colors basically put into one another what I also do is when I when I I kind of grab the the paint on the on the palette and I mix the colors into one another on the canvas so here you can see more close-ups and inside these brushworks you have a lot of different colors a reddish a red and blue and so I just kind of I, I don't mix kind of the 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 colors I just grab them and I place them so they kind of get mixed like almost like a every brushwork becomes like a rainbow in a way anyway if you want to see the full tutorial there's a, there's a link to that in description there's also uh, another longer time lapse on my channel and um, I hope you want if you want to watch this in slow mo or in real time that's actually an option if you want to support my channel, you can go to my to my Patreon. You find a link in the description, and you can sign up for a dollar or five or fifteen or whatever. There's different tiers there. So then I will help you to paint if you want to have me as a teacher. So I hope to see you there or in the next video. Give a thumbs up, leave a comment, and 